where are we going to be health wise when we face Wake, NC State, and Clemson? That the big stretch there because God forbid you were to fool around and go <clears throat> two and one in that stretch or something along those lines. I mean, you really would be in a conversation about the ACC championship. You, you would start to be in the conference. You're saying if you go three and one in the next four is basically what you're saying. Yeah, I was, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I'm win not, this weekend. It's crazy that you do that. Yeah, it's well, crazy that you're doing that. Yeah, it's uh, maybe maybe I mean, it's like you haven't lived this life the last five years. Mm. I, no, I also assumed a big win in the opener that you wouldn't assume either. I'm just I'm just letting you know I, I that Boston, Duquesne that Duquesne was tricky, man. Yeah, they were that's a program. I'd say BC's a little. Uh, a no, little, I don't think they're that little much different. better right and now. And I also don't, you know. There's a good chance your defensive line is depleted. So the one thing you could take advantage of your offensive line, you yeah. don't know, you don't have your, you might not have an arsenal. I agree with you. I'm not, so, I'm not predicting a blowout. I think Florida State at home against Boston College, with the situation they're in, you would hope not only is going to be favored, rightfully so, and is they ought to win the game. Yeah, well, yeah. they ought beyond, to. Beyond, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Well, beyond the injuries. Even with the injuries, even if none of those guys play, yeah, you gotta win you'd have to play poorly yeah. to lose yep. at home to that Boston College. Correct. Team. Could it Correct. happen? Yep. Yes. Sure but, it could. But it's not what you would expect. And, yeah. I, and I'm with you. I think what's going to happen over these next two or three weeks is I think you've got, as you have Wake Forest, then NC State, Clemson, I think you're going to see guys coming back along that Correct. process. And that's encouraging. And so whether it's maybe you get two guys back for this week, one guy this week and another guy or two the next week. And then by the time you get to Clemson, if you can get over these injuries, then man, you might have your full team in that game and man, all right, let's, yeah, let's that's see what, what I happens. Mean. Florida state hosting Clemson yeah. on a ride like this, having won some games, getting your guys back all of a sudden you're in a position. There's just a lot to get excited about if you can get healthy. And that is a big, if, you know, Florida state seems to keep losing guys. So even these other guys coming back, you can't keep having this kind of attrition every time you go out to play a football game where two and three and four guys go down and they're not like nobody's, they're not your third string Special teams, what I mean, you're, it's your starting tackles, plural. It is your starting quarterback. It is your starting, your best defensive lineman. It is your best rush in. Your two they, best defensive linemen. Yeah, and, uh, just and I, time and again. And I think uh, you going back to this game on Friday when you talk about why this team is so likable and easy to cheer for. You look at, you know, Duke Cooper was hurt, and Norvell even said that today, like he's been injured. He played, I don't know, five snaps against Louisville. Mm -hmm. um, Baby Lovett didn't play. Jared Burst is knocked out in the first half. Jordan Travis knocked out in the first half. Robert Scott goes down uh, in the fourth quarter when you're down by seven points. So if you look at the war chant top 40, that's like five of the top eight guys sure. on the list. Yeah. And you still won a road game where you trailed in the fourth quarter. Like mm -hmm. that's, that's the kind of moxie and what for that you haven't seen from this program in so long. And I think that's why they're so easy to cheer for is that's not a game. You had every excuse in the book to say, well, what are you gonna do? We're just unlucky, but you went and won the game anyway, and that's why I think this that, that there's so much excitement around this team. Three and O's, three and O, that helps. But the way they won that game, when oh, yeah. when your best players, literally your best players all over the field, aren't playing, we got a lot of happy people uh, in the mix on Twitter and Facebook asking questions. So let's get started. Nathaniel writes, "I was pretty sure it was the case, but watching that FSU football recap video yesterday, it's really obvious that coach has completely flipped the culture of this team. It looks to me." Like to a man, they would do anything in the world for him just the same as he would each of them. At some point, the injuries could be too much to overcome, but that culture should be sustainable and very desirable to recruits and transfers. With the hot start, I now think as long as they can scratch out four more wins, there's a shot to double down and keep the train moving. As of right now, what's the most likely four additional wins in your minds? What are the least likely? Mm. And, and he did hashtag. Awa number two, the way you would oh, do Oh, right, yeah, right. Yeah, the, the way Yawa? you would do Yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah and he, he also hashtagged, uh, because it is the great Nathaniel Hornblower, uh, no pity sausage needed. Nope. Mm, no, nice. no. Congratulations. Uh, yeah. Congratulations yeah. on that. Pity sausage is yeah. such a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah, no more pity sausage. Uh, yeah. Vibes everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, real quick, though, I, I did want to say on that, I want to correct one little thing. It's not just that they're playing hard for him. I think – Alex Atkins explained this to me a year ago in an interview we did at War Chant that they have to care about each other yeah. first. That yeah. that has to be the biggest thing. So it's not just they love their coach; it's they really love each other. I mean, that, it's not just about the coach. It's when players take ownership of the team. It's yeah. nice if they appreciate the coaches. Yeah, it's I mean, nice they do. if they care about them and know that they're cared about. But they have to love one another without question. Four most likely wins. I mean, Boston College for yeah, sure. One of them's this you, weekend. You, you would sure. think Louisiana. Louisiana Georgia is another Tech. one. Georgia, Georgia Tech, Tech for Tech sure is another Georgia one. Georgia Tech might be number one on the list. Now, number four. Ah, ah. 
you know what? I'm going to say Wake Forest. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm going to say Florida. Ooh, I'm going to say yeah. Florida. Okay. Mm-hmm. I do not see that team with that quarterback coming into Doak and winning. It seems just, unlikely as we sit here today. It's a weird world, though. Yeah, I mean, it's a weird uh, sport. Week, week to week, who knows? Uh, they've got look. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Wake is less likely than Florida just because they have a better quarterback. Yeah, they've got now, a very good quarterback. I don't know. Is there somebody else I'm not thinking about? I mean, Syracuse at Syracuse. Syracuse. Oh, at Syracuse that's a tough. That, man, they're they're yeah, three and zero oh now. They, 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 that team believes yeah. in itself. No, I actually am a little. I that was a win I had chalked up before the year that I'm not going to assume at all now. Uh, Blair, big smooth Minix writes. Which one of you thinks you could beat Dabo in a foot race? My man puts it all on the line running down that hill, doesn't he? I'm ready for him to blow a knee. That's going to be funny when and that just, happens. It's going to happen. Yeah, well, yeah, and he's going to fall down 30 feet a hill. Like, it's going to happen midway through that run. He must stretch, like, on the bus, right? On the bus ride over. He you must know, be I, I Do you it. think you could take him? No. Man, he was he played a receiver former receiver. In college. He was a D1 athlete. Yeah. I know he was a walk-on, but he still was a D1 he athlete. He was, and, and a former we're... receiver, you're not beating Yeah, and he's, I'm only, like, five or six years younger than him. So Are it's you? not like I have – he's got to be in his 50s, right? I would think. I don't know, though. I didn't. I haven't looked. I mean, I'm – I'm I'm in the best shape of my but life. But you were never fast. No, I was. I was. I was. <laughs> look, here's the thing. Again, I was sneaky fast. I was sneaky quick. Uh, I, I was got, faster I than you thought. <laughs> so I was a four eight, four eight ish. I think I could still. I think I still break five in the forty. And I think that's where Dabo is. I think it'd be a great race. Honestly. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet on Dabo. I mean, probably. Yeah. He's got a longer stride. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I could beat Dabo now. I'm. I'm gonna tell you that now. You could, could you beat me? Zyler, I, I don't even know. Zyler in the anymore. chat asked about Norvell versus Dabo. That might be a decent race. That'd be a good race. Norvell's yeah. got him by 12 years. I, and Norvell a was younger. a wide receiver, yeah, too. Yeah, I think Norvell. Norvell's got him. Yeah. Norvell's got him. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. Let me ask you a question, though. On the, on the flip side of that, and because somebody was bringing it up to me, a friend of mine who was texting me earlier, talking about the polls and whether or not that is important, how long is it going to take Florida State to really this, get respect? They win this week, they're in. I'll say I it. thought that last week. No, but I know. But I, I, I and think this if is they not win, beating Boss College is not going to impress anybody. But if you're 4 0, you're getting in. And Especially I, if LSU, a, if LSU wins again, then that win looks that, better and better. That continues to look better. Yeah. I, I I saw one guy write and make some sense about this. He said, "Hey, here's my AP top twenty-five. Rip it if you want to." He goes, "The truth is, twenty through thirty-seven is the same team." Well, that's so always you, the case. You, so if you want to take point. thirty and put them in, do it. But my point is, and uh, Corey and I were talking about this earlier, and I'm, I'm probably going to write something about it. The problem is. Rosters are so different than they used to be. Mm-hmm. So you can't just go by returning starters or what That's teams correct. did last year. Teams are completely different. And the problem I have is you go into it with that week, and I've voted in the poll before. You go into it with your week one poll, and then you're adjusting from there. Correct. Well, no, man, just scrap week one. Whatever you your preseason Pretend like is, you don't know Alabama's got any good players. Throw that away <laughs> yeah. after the first <laughs> yeah. after the first week and then the second week and the third week. Yeah. Don't be afraid to say, yeah, I had that guy, tw- that team 12, and they won, but you know what? They're 24 now Yeah. because I watched them play. So, But the, the, nobody does that. Here, Let me ask you this. So we've seen Norvell jump on Papuchas' shoulders. Mm, he seemed like he got excited to get in this game. Yeah. Yeah. If they beat Clemson. Is my man just going to start high stepping down to the to the? I want to him the end to zone? watch stoically and shake hands. Well, you know that me. ain't happening. Get <laughs> there's used nothing. To this. There's nothing stoic about that dude after a win. Get get used to this. He's good. Yeah, to yeah. Cart, yeah. Cartwheels out yeah. to the handshake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can you imagine? That would be creepy if he just walked stoically. Like, yeah, this is what we do. This is what we do. I expect. I should have beat you last year too, and you know it. Shake hands. Hey, hey, look right good game, him. coach. Good game. Good try. Good game. Yep. Welcome good to bitch them. That's where you're going to live from here on out. Yep. This rivalry. Pal. I want the backflips. I want the backflips too because I think it would be fantastic. <laughs> and if there's a young coach capable, you should do it. Just... Or the worm. You could do the worm. <laughs> Just enjoy kind of dry humping the ground as he's worming his way to Dabo. You can. <laughs> <laughs> The worm or so the centipede or a backflip, either one. The backflip is my favorite. Just, yeah. and the feet are going over and over. And everyone's like, "What the hell is Look he at doing? this guy. Look at that's. I mean, that's. And a, then he that's does a, a split. <laughs> Steven, pulls a naked gun. So yeah. Stephen A. will be on first take debating. <laughs> yeah. Is he the most classless coach in yeah, college football yeah. history? And the other side would have to say he's the greatest coach in football <laughs> yeah. history because yeah. that's the only way you do this thing.